It's finally here. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Hi, Pagan Shooter back. Um, yeah, it's uh, two within a month. Who'd have thought? Uh, well, if I get this edited in time and my cameras don't screw up and I don't have a problem with the way the light goes or something falls from Mars or crazy things happen or who knows. But anyway, um, I'm back and I've got something that is from a company that I did not realize and here it is, is from the state that I live in in Minnesota. Um, and as you can see from the box, it is made in the USA, which I am very happy for. Um, so let's open this. I haven't opened this. I haven't done anything. I haven't even looked at it. Still have it. Uh, let's get into this. Now, this is not paid for, uh, by a, the company itself. I purchased this just like everybody else did. This is a uh, something that uh, you have to be notified. You had to sign up for it a while ago. And obviously, if you read the, uh, the title, you know that this is the bullpup for the High Point 995TS. Or, well, actually, 995. So, let's see. I get to look first, by the way. So, here is my invoice. And this thing cost me a total of $249.99 plus tax because I'm in the same state and plus I had to pay for shipping. So normal stuff. So we'll put this on the side. So that was a grand total of $277.03 that this cost. Uh, pretty darn close to what the actual rifle cost. All right, so we find a bag of parts, uh, some pretty decent packing, all right, um, more decent packing, that is pretty damn solid, just the feel of that, all right, we got to get into this thing, and instructions, wow, well printed instructions. Okay, I have to say, the instructions <laughs> for this are actually better printed than the user manual for the high point. So, I'm impressed. Let's get into this and see what we get. Uh, let's see what the impression of this is. So, right off, the user manual is, or the instructions are actually quite impressive. They look very well written. Uh, they've got their warnings, they've got instructions, which I'm going to need my glasses to see. Uh, but they're actually very well written. I'm impressed. This is actually a very well written manual. Uh, let's get into the bullpup. So this is the stock for the 995. And, oh, this feels... This feels hefty. I can feel it feels really good. Um, yeah, I can definitely see how people are saying that the weight of it is back here, but that meets your shoulder. So you've got a much better hold on this thing. Oh, this is great. I like the feel of this. And I haven't even tried shooting it yet. So this is this feels nice. It feels good. Uh, I'm, in, I'm impressed so far. Let's... Um, Let's get into some of the parts and uh, let's have a look. Uh, so let's see. The parts are here. Got a pretty decent assortment. It does look like the... It has all the parts. There's your charging handle. Looks like... It looks like everything is with it. You know what? I think we need to strip down the high point and see how quick we can get into this. So the feel, I'm, I'm holding this up, trying to get the feel for this, 
trying to get the idea of how much this feels, how heavy this feels, compared to this when I get it done. So let's go ahead and get it switched out. All right, I'm not that good. So what I'll do is I'm going to cut the camera here and I'm going to try to hack this thing together. And let's see what we can come up with as far as uh, how long it takes me. I'll let you know. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't let me do this on camera anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably add in a few shots of it close up here. And then uh, we'll come back to having it switched out. All right. Okay, I'm back. I'm not going to lie. That was not easy. Um, and this is what it looks like. It is, by the way, not loaded. Chamber is locked back. There is no magazine in there. Uh, I will be testing everything out a little bit later. I know there's some adjustments I have to make. I did get my Monstrum uh, scope on here. Um, it feels really solid. It definitely added a little bit of weight to it. This uh, stock is definitely heavier than the uh, one that came with it. Uh, the controls feel pretty natural. The lockback is fun as hell, but probably shouldn't do that too much because it is polymer, so it'll probably will break. Uh, the top rail is actually made of, it feels like milled aluminum. So it actually feels very, very, uh, very solid. Um, and the scope mounted on there very easily and it, it fit perfectly. It's not like the standard high point rails. Um, I, was, I did go ahead and put the flash hider back on. I will probably take it back off because that has to come off to pull the top off. So more than likely I'll take that off. I did remove the front handguard. Uh, one thing of note, if you do get one of these, the handguard, when you pull it on, out the screws to do that, uh, to pull it off, they, the bolts on the other side will come out. And I did have to enlist my children to go find it. Um, otherwise, it feels very solid. It, I mean, just a standard pad, but it's only a 9mm, so you shouldn't need that. It shoulders very well most of the weights back here you can feel it back here but it's not difficult to hold it it's not cumbersome it actually and i mean with with the standard full size i would never do that in this area because i would be hitting mirrors uh there's mirrors on either side of me i mean now i can actually move this 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 feels great um, I definitely would say that this, so far, feels like a really nice job, a really good kit. Um, now, there are a few things that I'm noticing about this, and it could just be that I have not fully adjusted it yet. One thing I do feel is that that squishy trigger that you get from a bullpup, it's even worse with the high point, and I have a feeling it's because of the adjustments in here. I haven't touched them yet. There is a uh, over travel and a take up adjustment for this rifle. Um, you literally have to adjust it, put it back, or take it apart, adjust it, put it back together. Unfortunately, that is the nature of the beast. But once you do it, you probably won't have to do it again. Um, the other thing I've noticed is that for my fingers, I have very large hands. Reaching the mag release is a little more difficult, a little more something. Uh, I actually don't mind the thumb release, but, I mean, you have to give up something. You, you are getting it. Now, the grip here is a little small compared to my hands. You can see my hands wrap around that really well. So the grip itself is a little uncomfortable, but once again, it's just a matter of getting used to it. Um, the safety does seem to work. Uh, turning, taking it off is a little more, well, no, it works. There's a safety here. And then of course you have the safety that comes with it still. And I'm telling you, this is actually pretty nice. You can, you can see, we'll see if we can get it on this camera. So 
take up, take up, take up, that's where it breaks. And it does break clean once you do, obviously, the high point. But how much of that is the high point trigger? How much of that is added with the stock? And I believe that much right there is what's added with the stock. So there is some give and, day, give and take. You are going to have a little bit different control. However, the feel of it, it feels solid. This feels much more solid than the actual stock that came with it. Um, I like it so far. I have not shot this yet. I just two minutes ago got this together and it was a fight. It was difficult. Take your time. When you get this, follow the instructions letter by letter. They do outline how to do it very, very well, but there are some bits to it that you really need to pay attention to what you're doing. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult. Getting it apart the first time, um, it, it's stiff. I had to get my nylon punch and my, uh, and my plastic hammer, and I had to tap it out just to separate it. Now, once I was pushing it back together, you get to a point where it, there's about a half inch gap here and you really kind of have to make sure everything's lined up, make sure everything is in right, and then power it home. Uh, but once you do, it'll pop right in, this will close right up, and you're ready to go again. Um, I like it. Uh, so far, I'm not disappointed. I, it was definitely worth the wait. Um, we'll have to see once I go and shoot it and see how it feels, but otherwise, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, go ahead and uh, let me know what you guys have done. If you guys have ordered one of these yet. If you did, what color did you get? Uh, have you gotten it yet? Uh, mine didn't take long to get. I, it took me a couple days. I ordered mine Friday. They had to get it together. And it shipped out uh, the 3rd. Yesterday being the 4th, nothing happened. Got it today, the 5th. So I'm happy with it. The service of the company was great. Uh, it seems very well thought out. It's very well manufactured. There's a few things that I would change, but you have to do it for the masses, not for the individual. Um, go ahead and uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. If you have one of these, if you're getting one, if you want one, let me know. Uh, go ahead and write a comment down below. If you don't like high points, go ahead and comment that too. Meh, I don't care. But... Uh, this is Pagan Shooter. We'll see you next time.